slow, do it slow. Watch it. Over here, sir. Over here. Yes, yes. Do it slow. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. I know you have a lot on your mind. Hi. 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 I know you have a lot on your Thank you. Hey, ladies and hey guys, guys, uh, I'm going to take my lead here after a minute, but um, how are y'all preparing for the Santa Slayer? Right? There you go. I got to go. You know, I got to go. I gotta, okay. Okay. Uh, you stay here with us, buddy. We're going to have some fun. Don't worry. Okay. Everybody, if you're under 18, don't know what Drexel's doing. Listen, you know, it's a, it's a Santa Slayer match, and I don't know if you guys might realize this, but uh, me and Drexel, we're... we're we're probably on the naughty list. Tammy said we're on the good list. We're, we're going to the sack. <laughs> we're, we're going, okay. You first. <laughs> I don't know what presents are, are, are set up for this match, but all I know is, um, and I, I don't speak for myself, I hope they're sharp, I hope they're pointy, because I don't know about you, but I'm going to move to make someone bleed. <laughs> I just want to let you know, man. Tonight, I got your back. I got your guys' back. Shut up, Charlie! Oh, it's not You're not Charlie. No. We got this. We got, we're most violent. Yeah, we got this. Any last word? Be nice. <laughs> Levi. I hope you have a fun year. It might be your last. Oh, 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 okay. Funny boy and Drexel, everybody. Okay. Bone and Drexel, a couple of your old friends, they mean business this week in the Santa Sleigh Ride main event. I'm Brian Zane, and this is Mr. Ulala back at the hosting desk here for POW Pro Wrestling. Mr., this may surprise some people, it might surprise even you when I say this, but I'm genuinely happy that you're back. How you feeling after what happened a, a couple of weeks ago with your face and the ugly stick and blood and all that? Well, thank you for your welcome. I'm still uh, awaiting my Get Well card in balloons and flowers and chocolates that Apparently your office have sent me, but I'm back, I'm here, I'm all dressed in my finest attire for episode 100, huh? Oh, oh gosh, uh, this is kind of awkward, mister, but um, this is episode 101. I, I was hosting solo last week because you were still healing and, you know, convalescing after what happened with the ugly stick and the blood and all that. So instead of going on hiatus, you just continued the show as if though I did not exist, huh? Well, you Some know, partner! Hey, the show had to go on, and uh, let's just say I've hosted a couple of things solo before. You know, it wasn't easy, mister. It wasn't easy having you gone, and I had to hold down this whole show by myself. Episode 100, Jaden Brady for the YouTube Championship. It was tremendous. I wish you could have been there, genuinely. You are a terrific broadcast partner. Well, merci, merci. Speaking of partnerships, What's with this spiky head goof, Marcus Eric, trying to weasel his way into the good graces of Funny Bone and Jackson? Now, Funny Bone, he seems to like him. He helped Funny Bone with that submit a surrender match against Caden Cassidy a few months ago. Sure. With the luck of the draw, they ended up as partners in Wild Card Warfare and that drove it to hell match. Mm -hmm. And now, Drexel, Funny Bone, they have a big, 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 big main event match coming up. And here's Marcus Eric saying, by golly, by gee, I'm here to help you. I'm going to uh, be like a rhino, I guess, and just poke Brother Zichard and Levi with, with, with his 
pointy hair or something. No, I, I, I get what you're going there with the, the spikes and everything. Uh, you know, who knows what the motives of Marcus Eric is. I mean, from what I see, he just wants to be a good friend. He wants to be a good ally. You know, Funny Bone and Drexel, they can handle themselves, but Zicky Dice and Levi Shapiro, their opponents in this week's main event, they're also no joke. They're no joke themselves. And you gotta maybe think Marcus Eric wants to help kind of tip the scales and just help his friends out. It's Santa Sleigh Ride. It's gonna be no rules. It's gonna be the kind of wild, violent chaos you've come to expect from your favorite demigod of death. Well, folks, we wanted to give you an update on this growing rivalry between the Tower of Power, Amira, and the Kingpin, Caden Cassidy. Now, mister, ever since the Rumble 2 regret when Amira eliminated Dr. Cleaver and King Naja, she's had a massive target on her back from the Empire. Now, we want to talk about Caden Cassidy, the man who I suspended several months ago from active in-ring competition. He has been fighting that suspension tooth and nail, but the moment Amira wants a one-on-one -on -one match with him, he suddenly uses that as, oh, I don't want to wrestle because I'm suspended. What's that, what's the deal with that, mister? Yeah, it's strategy by the Kingpin. He is not the Kingpin for no a good reason. He's big, he's strong, but he's also uh, very intelligent. He's been throwing everything he can at Amira. He brought in Maserati, as you might remember. Sure. He's attacked Amira. Amira has saved your hide, and now they are going to meet in an arm wrestling match. Huh? How about that? Yes, one week from this episode, you're going to see Amira and Caden Cassidy finally duke it out, albeit in an arm wrestling contest. That Let's is... give them a little demonstration of how that will go, huh? Uh, uh, sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm a lefty. I think I can do this. Yeah, here we go. You ready? You it's ready? going to be just like this. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. hey. Uh, uh, you're Caden Cassidy. Cassidy, I was playing Amir, that's why I let you win that one, huh? Ah, that was very clever of you, mister. Good, 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 good show on that one. Well, folks, that is happening next week, and surely the animosity between these two hopefully does not come to blows and get any more physical than that. Caden Cassidy is still suspended as an active competitor, and I guess this was his, uh, his lone compromise, this arm wrestling contest. So, may the best person win next week. But folks, we gotta talk about the feud between most violent and outlandish enterprises. Ever since the Masaro family left a huge crater in its wake and it was dissipated, suddenly Outlandish Enterprises emerges in its place. You're talking about the POW Pro Wrestling Champion, Zicky Dice, the former Wrestling With Regret YouTube Champion, Brother Levi Shapiro, and Charming Charlie Avell. Well, this week, things all come to a head. Now, you might recall, mister, when Levi Shapiro won the Wild Card Warfare Finals at Bunkhouse Battle Royal. He had the right to make his own matchup, but suddenly his good friend, the POW Champion, Zicky Dice, he swooped in and made his own matchup, a Santa Sleigh Ride match. What is Zicky Dice thinking? I don't, does that actually count since Brother Levi uh, didn't make the match? I mean, Funny Bone and Drexel agreed to the match. I think maybe there's some contracts, contracts to investigate and look over, see if that was actually a valid use of that win from Brother Levi and the Wild Card Warfare. They're your guys, mister. You should be talking about the contracts with them. Well, as you said, ever since the Masaro family and, uh, uh, Gianni Fennellini went away as the uh, Italian consigliere. Uh, we've had a little, we're, we're in between legal counsel at the moment, but once we get caught up on that, I will report you here whether or not uh, Brother Levi's win in Wildcard Warfare is still valid and he can uh, cash that in whenever he pleases, huh? Well, we'll have to see about that and what those contracts say, but what we can say is the Santa Sleigh Ride match is happening next in the main event. It's gonna be weapons that are gonna be wrapped up with care under the ring, and when they pull those out and unwrap it, it's fair game. It's gonna be Zicky and Levi versus Funny Bone and Drexel. Santa Sleigh Ride match, get ready, it's coming up next. Why are we doing a Christmas match in February? I'll tell you later. Zicky Dice could become a champion twofold. Barbed wire ropes. This PAL Pro Wrestling Championship match. It's Brother Levi! Brother Levi! Zicky Dice is my brother! And blood is thicker than regret! Zicky Dice is the new champion! This last year has been the best year of my career by far! Being the champion for you people meant absolutely fucking everything to me. What? It's Funny Bone! What? Zicky! It's Funny Bone under the mask! Can't say, wait, 
Levi! Oh, man, Levi Shapiro, where did he come from? Where did he come from? As right now, I am proclaiming that I am going to challenge these two in a Santa's fight match next month. What? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a Santa's sleigh ride match. It is no holds barred. Anything goes. One fall to a finish in the middle of this ring. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you cap off, how do you follow 100 episodes of POW Pro Wrestling? The main event episode 101 with this, the Santa Sleigh Ride match, as Levi Shapiro and Zicky Dice, who are already plotting for some things under the ring, taking on Funny Bone and the homicidal artist himself, Drexel. And that one, that is an unwrapped gift, by the way. That is, uh, there's no, no thrill of the unwrapping that you had with that one. I don't think so. Nope. Now, I do realize this is past Christmas for everybody, but I'm going to tell you right now that you're getting a special present for sure. Absolutely. In this match. Hey, everyone likes a little bit of extra Christmas. Oh, okay. Well, referee Brad Lee is having none of it, and neither are Funny Bone and Drexel. Meanwhile, at ringside, we have the Christmas tree, and under the Christmas tree are presents. Absolutely. Presents are wrapped under the tree and under the ring with care. do -si do Nice, that is an old school maneuver there, and who better to implement it than the timeless one himself, Levi Shapiro. And now, the action is gonna get old school. It's gonna get rough here tonight, because those weapons are wrapped, and once you unwrap them, as anything goes, one fall to a finish. And there must be a winner in this one, I think. It's just a, I mean, absolutely. Well, Shapiro's already going out to the tree. Well, I'm sure by the time this is all said and done, we're not really gonna look at any of these four as winners. I know. Uh, Levi asked me uh, during the introductions, where are the dreidels? And you know what? He had me dead to rights. Now, wait a minute. Something came out of the first uh, stocking, a card of some sort, a Christmas card. Is there a check? No money. Yeah. Didn't even read it. And now was uh, more stocking stuffers. Oh boy! What are those? Those, those, uh, those Hot uh, Wheels. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels leading the way. Oh jeez! And it could be leading the way to a lot of pain. Uh, if you land on one of those, absolutely. I mean, you ever step on one? Well, they're rolling and everything else. I mean, this is some Kevin McAllister business right here. Oh yeah, boy! Yeah, my kid don't pick up, so I stepped on plenty. Yeah, I feel it there, brother. Here we go! Oh no! Oh well. It Oops. turns out Levi and Zicky are the first victims of the, of the goodies here in this Santa sleigh ride match. It looks like Funny Bone's going to a, a sack right now. And oh no, oh, come got on. Party. Oh, wait a minute. We see staple a staple gun. gun. And we see this beautiful pop-up Christmas card. Oh no, wait a minute, Drexel. Which Drexel's He's trying for the paper cut. Oh. No, he has turned that charming Christmas card into an instrument of destruction. Oh no. In the mouth! Oh, the mouth! Well, that might shut him up for a minute. Funny Bone, meanwhile, outside the ring, he led by Shapiro and the stapler, and he's stapling money to him. Oh, well, hey, who wants a little bit of extra Christmas money in February? I don't think Levi wanted it that way. Oh, my goodness. Folks, you know, Outlandish Enterprises is doing everything in their power to rid themselves of Funny Bone and Drexel. But you just can't get rid of someone oh. like the demigod of death. Ever and the since, cage. Ever oh. since they drove him out when Zicky Dice stole the uh, POW Pro Wrestling Championship, Funny Bone's been on a quest to regain that gold. Oh, Levi with the staples in his back, but he's got that candy cane. And, oh, oh, in the head. Proving to be largely ineffective, that candy cane. But, oh, I'll tell you the what. The chair isn't, though. That's very effective. And now, Levi Shapiro is in a bad way here. I think he matched all his bar mitzvah money. Is that, are those real dogs is that funny money that 
King Naj are trying to pin me with earlier. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, I have to run the pen over that. Drexel fighting back here as Levi struggles to get a foothold. Looks like a two on one though. It is definitely a two on one situation now. Funny Bone has been incapacitated with those chair shots. And now you've got, oh, the POW champion directing traffic as Levi dropping Drexel right over his knee. Funny Bone now back in the ring, but it's again a two on one situation. Drexel can't help him out. Here we go now. Things could be a bad situation for Funny Bone here if this two on one continues. Oh. Face first. Why did I think that candy cane, some of those Hot Wheels on the ground still? Yes, indeed. Cover now. Here we Hold go. Oh. oh, Bradley. Oh, one for the, the count there, but Funny Bone too quick. You know, if I'm the referee, I'm watching my hands because I don't want to hit the mat when there's stuff like Hot Wheels and other sort of things in there. I mean, there is a lot of plunder. Still, and he's going, going down. Zicky Dice going back to the stockings again. Going for another stocking hung off the tree with care. And he looks like it's loaded with something. Nothing good, I'm sure. Nothing good can come of the items in the Santa sleigh ride match. And now, oh no! Lego. Oh, you thought the Hot Wheels were bad. He's got an entire Lego set in there. Now one can only wonder. What you could do with those Legos. What kind of nice little display Rise could you build Wheels. with Rise all those Legos. Wheels. You know, something like a nice lakeside park. I don't see some blues and oh, green. Oh, no. Oh, something no. Something tranquil. Oh, 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 no. Nothing tranquil about those suplexes in stereo. Everything is going the way of most violent so far in this matchup, wouldn't you say, Jonas? You Drexel alluded back to in it. the tree now. You alluded to it earlier, but right now, Zicky and Levi stalking. looking like the wet bandits. Oh no, what's Drexel got in the stocking? Right now, they are neither wet nor sticky, but they're in a lot of pain. Oh my, oh, what? No, no, no. Oh no. That's a glass ornament he just stuffed down there, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Now like this. Oh, oh no! Jeez! Oh! No. Right in the balls. The drop. Those ornament balls. Which one? Oh gosh. No, no, come on. Levi right in the little dreidels. Oh, oh no! Oh! Ah! Uh, and if you remember, Levi didn't even really want this match. I don't want to call that. I, I can't call that. I don't know what to say that is. That is a good point. Levi Shapiro, of course. Winning, oh! The and Levi card. pulling out the remnants of that broken glass in his trunks. It was Levi Shapiro who won the Wild Card Warfare Battle Royal. He earned a match, any match of his choosing. And Vicky Dice just swooped in and made this match instead. Wait a second, now what's he got? A, a, it's Christmas lights. Okay, that's, that's festive. And that's as grass per, Christmas lights. As per usual, tangled in a giant ball. You don't understand what this could be. If he I'm unravels not sure that thing, what it could be. I, who knows? Does he have a game plan? Does he strategize? Does he you think can't ahead? strategize for something like that. Funny Bone still struggling to, uh, you know, everyone knows one of the hardest things about the Christmas lights is the knots to get tangled up. Oh, absolutely, especially for outside lights. You try stringing those suckers oh, straight. Oh, jeez, that was got There we go. Funny Bone has figured it out. Let's see. I mean, they can do any number of things. They can whip him. Oh, he hits him with the staple gun in the face again. Oh, my goodness. Strangle him, hang him. Oh, wait a second. Levi. The staple gun Levi and the Shapiro. Christmas lights. I, I didn't even know where he went. He's oh, back no. here now. I thought he was smart. He took the high road and got out of here. He's stapling the... He's going to go. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Look out. Look He's out. He's stapling oh. the Christmas lights on him. Oh, no. I don't think he got all of it. Well, it doesn't matter. It, it still would be... He's... Choke him out with the Christmas lights. I mean, he certainly wants to make a gift out of Zicky Dice here. Oh, right in the back. Oh, now if we could just plug that string of lights in. Oh no, that would be. Oh jeez, that would be a Christmas miracle. And Drexel, Drexel. Oh my gosh. In February, no less. That makes it a double miracle. But now for Zicky. It's oh not wait a minute. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He took the. <laughs> He's got him lit up. Well, always in the holiday spirit, I guess.
It's the holiday season any old time here at Pal Pro Wrestling. The wait a minute, Levi, she, oh. brother Levi is back in. Breaks this up. And now, I think he, I think he thinks the fun and games are over. Well, they are certainly for sure for him. I mean, this is an absolute mess here in this ring. We got glass ornaments. Oh, Funny Bone is flying out of the ring onto that concrete below. There is no give out there. Christmas lights, Hot Wheels cars, Lego. What could there possibly be different? I mean, truly. And he's still looking for more presents. I don't, he's got, I don't want he's to got a gift. Hey, Bradley. Levi wants a gift. He's got a gift. Wait a minute, he's Jewish. Why does he get a Christmas present? He gets eight presents. Oh, for, for Hanukkah, yes. He's unwrapping it. Yeah, what is this? Oh, no. This looks to be some kind of board with a bunch of, uh, it looks like candy canes. It's like a bed of nails contraption we guys we got here, guys. Oh, what kind of gift is that? Oh, no, look out! Oh! Jeez. Oh! God! Oh, it phase him. Oh! Oh, no! He's got a shoe! Oh, you know how sharp those things can be when they break? Oh, no! He's got Pe a... Ah! Peppermint stick right to the noggin! And he's got a chair lined up for Funny Bone, and now... Look out! Oh! Drexel into the chair! Levi thinking fast, driving Drexel face first into the chair. My goodness! Oh! Funny it's Bone! Look at that, he just took his own fall onto all that weaponry and is still going, but Zicky dies now. Oh! Close line with the Christmas lights. Never thought I'd see that in a hundred years. I've never called it like that. Zicky dies now, the champion back in control. This is a non-title match, by the way. This Thankfully. Santa sleigh ride match. He's going back in the tree again. He's he got the whole tree. Get the whole damn tree. I mean, why not? It's anything goes. Everyone's, everyone's holiday wishes are coming true. Christmas He's trees are being Bone used as weapons. Tree. He's got Funny Bone under the tree now. That's true, Funny Bone himself is like a gift. He's a gift that keeps on giving, but so is outlandish Zicky Dice. One corner to the next, oh! oh. But he eats a knee instead. Oh my goodness, rolling into the Legos, gosh. The Legos, that's, the broken ornaments, the Hot Wheels. That's gotta be brutal. That poor tree. Now, Funny Bone, what's he got in mind here with that that tree, the tinsel, oh, my God. the moon salt crashing down. That that could be in here for this matchup. What? No. No. Zicky kicks out. Zicky, our champion, you cannot discount his toughness. He wasn't one of the longest reigning YouTube champions for nothing. I'll give him that. And he's got Lego sticking out of his oh. back right now, Zicky. Dice. And now it's time for oh, boy. unwrapping a present of his own twisted design. Jackson with the chair. The fans. Oh! Oh, Levi in the face. They're getting more than what they bargained for. Maybe Funny Bone's got another gift. That's right. Funny Bone has got something wrapped. Oh, the tension's killing me. The, the unwrapping is always the most exciting part. What is it? It's a beanie it's, baby. It's a, it a could bear. Be a lot of money. It could be. So oh, no, no. Princess, oh, wait a minute. Who's, oh. It's full of thumbtacks. Oh, that is not, oh, that is not one cuddly teddy bear. That is eight beans in that beanie baby. It's thumbtacks. Oh my God, look out. Oh. There's Two here for the crowd. There's gotta be thousands of them on the on the on the corner in the middle of the ring right now. Plus you got the Legos, the Hot Wheels, the lights. And oh a, my god. And a partridge in a pear tree. That's it. Wait a minute. Charlie Avell, the most beautiful man in Pal. What's he doing here? Showing up for outlandish enterprises, and he's throwing hardware. Look out. Charlie Avell, he's got that whole stack of chairs. Wait a minute, throw it in the move change it. Mark, go. Marcus Eriks, who we just saw defeat Rush Freeman earlier tonight, he's helping out his friends and most violent. Oh, Charlie! Charlie Avell has been ejected thanks to the good friend of Funny Bone, Marcus Eriks. This guy's like a bad penny, he's always showing up. He said he would he would have Funny Bone and Drexel's back. He wasn't kidding. He's chasing Drexel. Wait a minute, Levi's opening another Beating the pillow to post out of the ringside area. They're in the back once again. And now, he's got oh a better thumbtack. Levi's got oh. the wiffle ball back covered in tacks. And he just, oh. wow, three for three. 
Right in the face of Funny Bone. What an at bat for Levi Shapiro tonight here on Power Pro Wrestling. I was hit for the cycle. Now you got Outlandish Enterprises back at full strength here. They could have this match won if a few more things go their way. And imagine the landscape of POW if most violent are taken out in a match just like this. Look at this funny bone. Oh! Nice evasion into a stomp onto the back of Brother Levi. And now the champion, Ziggy Dice, oh. finds himself in an unenviable two-on-one. If he can keep swinging, though, he might have a chance. I tell you, this, this matchup, this is quite possibly the messiest matchup I've ever seen. Who's cleaning all this up? Oh my goodness, is it? Looks like Ziggy's gonna go for a neck breaker. No! It... Wait a minute! Oh! Driven face first into Drexel's knee! Oh! Takes another knee. one from Funny Bone! No! On Shapiro, my goodness! Funny Bone is swinging at anything that moves here, and you can see the impact this match is having one, on everyone. One, two. two, no! Kick out at two. But you can see the thumbtacks in people's boots, in sticking, people's backsides, you name it. Funny Bone's head. I know, forget the boots. I'm sticking out of flesh. And now more chairs have entered the ring here. What's Drexel got in mind? What is that? What is that he's pulled out? It's a table, but it looks like it's decorated. Oh my goodness, it's with glass ornaments. That is a tinsel treated door covered in glass ornament balls. Oh my goodness, folks, I don't like where this is headed. They've already got enough plunder in the ring. They're adding even more now to it as Drexel now gets all the ring. Oh no, he's gonna mount the ropes. Drexel and Funny Moan could be the happiest elves this side of the nut house if they get their way here. Wait a minute, Zicky. He's in a position to do some damage here to Drexel. That bridge so precariously placed oh, no. in the middle of the ring. Funny oh, Bone no. interjecting himself here, trying to save his partner. Wait a minute. Oh, dear me. What is going on here? Look out. Oh, jeez. As both Drexel and Ziggy Dice in the middle of the ring. Uh. Through that table. Oh, my. The carnage. Funny Bone sacrificing his own partner in an effort to take the wind out of Zicky Dice's sails. Yeah, friends like him, huh? This is the worst I've seen the champion in quite some time. Funny Bone looking to be completely in his element here in this Santa Sleigh Ride match. He's setting up the chairs again. This is absolute insanity here in this main event on episode 101 of POW Pro Wrestling. And oh my God, another door. This is why if you get tickets to come to World Pies in Eugene, this is why you gotta come and see it live because you can't see anything like this on YouTube or anything else. It's just, it's insane. You may see it on YouTube, but this, this right here live, it's incredible. I mean, these fans here in downtown Eugene are seeing something they've never witnessed before. I don't think I have either. No, I think that brother Levi and brother Zichard. Levi's getting to his feet. I just don't know how he can do it. They could be having visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads when it becomes lights out for Atlantish Enterprises. He's, the claw. He's got the claw on him. The Von Eric claw applied here with the glove. That right, that the glove really Adding adds more, the pressure to it. Definitely does. He's got a funny bone, and he's taking him out of the ring with it. Shapiro has put away many an opponent with that iron claw. He has studied from the best. Claw reapplied right there to the cranium of funny bone. He's putting on that pressure. He's got the higher ground. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh, no. This is going to go bad real quickly oh, no, for no. Levi. This could very, very quickly. What does funny bone, the demigod of death, have in store? Levi's fighting out of it here. This is a scary predicament for both men. Oh no. You're kidding me. Oh You're no. You're kidding me. Man, oh man, the look out! Oh, oh my God! It's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. That's it. Funny Bone has won the match. He has won a Santa Slay ride.
Look at that carnage in the ring! Here Look are out your the winners! The homicidal artist Drexel and Funny Bo! Look at all the gentlemen, carnage! Gentlemen, gentlemen! Congratulations! On winning the Santa Slay Ride match, but Funny Bone, Funny Bone, come here real quick. Before we move on any further, I gotta let you know that by winning the Santa Slay Ride match, you earned yourself one more surprise gift. And that gift, Funny Bone, is that you have earned the right to challenge Ziggy Dice for the Pow Pro Wrestling Championship. You're on the spot right fucking now! Oh my goodness! Ladies and gentlemen, let's clean up this ring because we've got ourselves a Pow Pro Wrestling Championship match! How is this fair? The referee calls for the bell. He's saying anything goes in this match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are full of surprises here at Pal Pro Wrestling. Funny Bone has just earned himself. Oh, oh. no! We hey. thought that was gonna be it. Lights out for Zicky. This impromptu championship match on right now. Funny Bone did not want to wait. Here it comes. Funny Bone. No! Oh. Jesus, he dropped him head first. That's it! New Pow Champion! New Pow Champion! Here is your winner and the new Pow Pro Wrestling Champion, Funny Bone! What a turn of events, ladies and gentlemen! The roof is exploding on this place here at World Pies! With Funny Bone capturing the heavyweight championship over Zicky Dice. In a match that he could have at any time, in any place, anywhere he chose now. And boy, oh boy, what an incredible, incredible turn of events. What an incredible moment this is for Funny Bone and the Demon Faithful. And you can see Marcus Eriks now celebrating in the ring with Drexel and Funny Bone. Give the assist to Eric's because he helped circumvent that big that big run in by Charlie Avell. Yes. And big now time. the new champion has some words for the powder keg. Last show I said I was back. Last show I said I was home. Let me correct myself. Now I'm back. Now I'm home. And you motherfuckers beat me into the punch. This is the part of the show where you come to this ring and you pound the heart and soul you have into this fucking canvas and make some fucking noise! Well, ladies and gentlemen, the landscape of POW Pro Wrestling has once again shifted. Funny Bone has regained the championship it may be early 2024, but you can only imagine what the rest of the year is going to look like. Oh my goodness. Folks, what a main event. What a war. Funny Bone, the demigod of death, back on top as your pal pro wrestling champion. Chocolate Blue got a mount here at Atlantis Enterprises. First, I get a face for a barbed wire at the hands of the miscreant ugly dojo. Now, you lay down a surprise title match for Brothers You should defend against Funny Bone. It's not fair. We're supposed to be the cannot. We're supposed to be the strategists here. You're supposed to play it right by the book, right down the line. Everything needs to be in black ink, cited to bottom line before anything happens. How could you do this to me? Earlier you were saying your friends were happy to have us back and now you have stolen the very, the, the crown jewel of our Landish Enterprises is now back against that sleazy 
waste of funny bone. We don't want to even know what funny bone does with that power pro wrestling championship when he takes it back home. Man. All I'm gonna say, Mister, is that turnabout. Turnabout's fair play, because I've been sitting here watching you and the rest of Outlandish Enterprises do a victory lap for the last several months around here, parading around with the PAL Pro Wrestling Championship that I essentially helped him gain, and it's been eating away at me ever since. So yes, I decided to hatch a little plan. Yes, I decided to give Funny Bone a little extra bonus gift for winning the Santa Slay Ride match. Hey, if he lost that match, that match wouldn't have happened, that follow up there. So maybe you should talk to your friends, Brother Zichard and Brother Levi, and maybe think about fighting a little bit harder when they go against the demigod of death. But either way, Funny Bone is once again the PAL Pro Wrestling Champion, and in my opinion, all is right with the world once again. Merry Christmas, Nah. Speaking of title matches, join us next week here on PAL Pro Wrestling. This one's been on the books for a while now as the Midnight Heat defend the PAL Pro Wrestling tag titles against the Flamin' Aces. Then, of course, you have that arm wrestling contest as the kingpin Caden Cassidy battles the unbeaten in PAL Amira, the Tower of Power. It's going to be a great week for PAL, whether on YouTube or on IWTV. We're happy to have you here watching us as part of the Powder Keg. For Mr. Ooh La La, I'm Brian Zane, and we'll see you next time. Give me another one. Give me another one. Come on, come on, come on. I'm retired after, oh. uh, after being undefeated, actually. So. He, likes, he likes to win his victories on paper, huh?